Okay, folks, here I am. Uh, constantly people write me uh, for information how to build a drizzler and uh, what measurements and so on and so on. Well, uh, I cannot do that because I'm constantly changing myself, but um, I promise to think about something uh, very simple to start with. And then from then on, uh, you have your own drizzler, you have your own uh, first uh, sustainable flare, and uh, it's up to you to, to, uh, to use your cre creativity and imagination and uh, support this uh, uh, drizzler build further because uh, I'm not a guru. I don't know, I do not know everything. Um, I give you this uh, small unit as an example, as a start. So uh, once you're on your way, once you have uh, had this flare, then uh, it will be all a uh, learning curve uh, as I did and it will be more easier to you. What I have here is uh, a normal uh, standard. Uh, I started here in this uh, little simple build with a standard uh, paint bucket of some 30 liters and uh, a piece of stovepipe. A piece of stovepipe. Now, I had uh, I cannot weld myself. I had the, all this made by a local uh, blacksmith, and um, he made uh, two rings like this. One ring is uh, welded to the uh, to the stovepipe, and the other ring should have been uh, perforated with uh, the same holes as there and should slide over there and together they should press the lid of this uh, of this paint can firm uh, and uh, gas tight by the help of a uh, of a ceiling in uh, ceramic uh, carton cardboard ceramic carbon you see here the guy did not uh, quite understood what I meant, and uh, he spot welded the the lid to the uh, to the lower one. So um, that's that's not better. Is uh, you have two rings, and you press it in between uh, the lid. Okay, that's that's the uh, that's the uh, actual fuel tube. Down there, I have uh, welded, had made welded, uh, a closed ring with an opening of 75 millimeters, and uh, welded onto it a reduction of 75 to 110, and the support for a roast. Uh, the roast is a very simple, very simple. Uh, it's a very simple thing, also that you can uh, simply slide in here, okay, as a roast. Okay, um, you can do several uh, confirmations of this reduction. You could uh, put it upside down. Uh, this is now a reduction uh, piece, but you could also use a straight uh, piece. You could close this uh, with a grate and uh, simply use the uh, fuel tube or you could put this upside down inside and around press ashes to isolate uh, this uh, this thing. It's not it's it's up to you uh, use your own. Need. I did I took this example uh, because um, I was wrecking if you don't have a, a heavy compressor later on to ex 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 expand the gas from the gas chamber, then uh, this uh, setup gives you a slower a slower flow, little expansion, and um, uh, you can you you can do anyway. In 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 between, I was made some drawings. What what you could do. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now the second part, this is this is the this is the the actual fuel tube and the burning chamber and the reduction zone and the grate. And the second part is escape, and the gas escapes through this uh, through this ring uh, again. Uh, here it is uh, better done. You have a ring inside, you have a ring outside. On it is welded some thread, and then um, on it is the ejector. For newcomers and for first starters, I propose don't make life uh, difficult. Start with something uh, useful uh, to ex 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 uh, exit your gas. And uh, a very useful thing here is the ejector made by uh, Stephen Zabades from the wood gas, the Yahoo wood gas group. Uh, he sell this uh, this ejector for a very uh, moderate price. I actually bought it from him as well, and um, it helped me uh, develop and 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 uh, and build my own uh, gasifiers in the beginning. So I a good suggestion uh, buy such a buy such a uh, ejector from Stephen. Now, okay, uh, inside this bucket goes your uh, goes your assembly with uh, with uh, the fire tube and the reduction zone, and uh, that's that will be your first. Uh, complete uh, small drizzler gasifier. I will uh, do one thing more on it that is uh, surround and wrap everything with uh, with uh, isolation wool to keep as much as uh, possible heat inside and then we will uh, fire it up and, and flare and uh, Okay, uh, see you later. I now do the wrapping of the isolation. When that's finished, I come back to you, show how it's done. And then later in the evening, when the evening falls, then uh, I will flare the unit and you will see how it performs. I don't use uh, at this moment a uh, filter. I don't use at this moment a um, um, cyclone. It's just very rudimentary. Uh, thing to uh, get your uh, first experience to get uh, to get some feel and uh, excitement of uh, making wood gas and seeing how simple that is. There are people that say flaring is for sissies. Uh, I completely disagree with that. Uh, go directly to an engine. They say uh, I, I completely disagree. Everything I learned. I learned from sitting next to the flare, observing the flare, how it changes by it, uh, several changes I made, uh, and uh, the, f the flare is uh, is a very important uh, guide uh, in uh, your uh, road to, to, to learn. Okay, till later. Okay, guys and girls, you ha we have the uh, Isolated uh, drizzler. This element isolated on top, and uh, this element isolated inside, and one goes inside the other. And uh, voila, that's the learning drizzle. Here, in a moment, we will uh, flare. And uh, I hope uh, you will uh, enjoy drizzling after you build your own learning unit. And from there on, use your imagination and creativity to go further and enrich the small but growing drizzler community with uh, surprises you found all by your own. Bye, thank you, see you in the Drizzler blog.